Capital in the world. Miss Universe! Live from America's entertainment capital. What you're about to see is essentially a living parade of color and fantasy. It's the special event you don't want to miss. Sometimes you have to cross the international date line just to hang out with the world's most beautiful women. It's complete fantasy, really. It's like you've got the crown, you've got the dress. Great experience, though. Join one billion viewers. This is a nerve-wracking and exciting experience for each one of these ladies. In over 170 countries. The whole world is tuned in and ready to watch one young woman experience her dream come true. In the crowning of Miss Universe 2006, live this morning with a primetime encore tonight on Star World. I believe that we had two Miss Universe, so I know that we will have a great chance in getting a seat in the Miss Universe with the I have seen her train, I have seen her even before Binibin in Filipinas, and I know that there's something within her. So I think she'll really make it and she'll be able to bring home the crown. We'll know you will make it and we'll keep on praying and we will know that when you come back here in the Philippines, you're wearing the Miss Universe crown. Watch the Miss Universe 2006 here on the Prime Ship. Miss Universe 2006, July 24, Monday 7. Before the show. Before. Um, during that time, there were a lot of feminists, and the feminists were against um, beauty pageants. So we had a lot of security, and the security uh, were stopping all the um, rallying of the feminists, burning of the bras, and of course. There was a lot of tension because Israel and Lebanon were in the pageant, so they also had a lot of security because of that. We had helicopters hovering around, so there wouldn't be any, I don't know. Hindi pa also terrorists noon. It just was fights and stuff like that. Well, it was obviously tension filled. Yeah, yeah. Okay, by the time the pageant started, did you have an inkling already that you'll go all the way and win the crown? Um, I tell you, everybody always asks me that question. Nobody has an inkling. Nobody has an idea. Uh, but everybody wants to win. I mean, let me remind you, nobody thinks that they're there to lose. Uh, two days before, we have the pre-pageant best in swimsuits. So you sort of have an edge if you're included in the best in swimsuit. Uh, during my time, there were 10 best in swimsuits. And you feel you're going to be in if you're best in swimsuit, but it doesn't always hold true. But maybe 90% of the times, um, the, the 10 or the 9 or the 8 will surely come in, the majority. Yeah. You were among the yes, 10. Yes, yes. Oh. Obviously. Um, your pageant was held in Miami, Miami, Florida. Um, did exactly the same place where Muhammad Ali became Muhammad Ali. Uh, the, the day before, I don't know. We first had a pageant, and three days after, from Cassius Clay, he became Muhammad Ali. He was, in fact, in the hotel. He was beside us in the rooms, you know. So it's supposed to be the, the floors were only for the misses, but I think the hotel was full, so they put his group in the same area, but just like cordon off. They cannot go with the girls or something like that. He was just very, very young. Very. That just goes to show you how many years back I go. Did you